April and welcome back to my channel now I know I have been gone a while and most people have been wondering why I went so thanks for everybody who checked in on me I was sick for a while and then I got back to school and things have just been chaotic so I haven't really had as much time to do videos as I would have liked to um, however I'm back and I'm healthy again and things are looking up things have slowed down so I have um, some time to make videos and I have a whole um, bunch of videos that I would like to get out of the way so be patient with me and the videos will keep coming um, more often now so this video is just a quick update on my hair now I've been getting a lot of questions about why I'm not doing updates and why I'm not showing people my hair but as I said I've been busy but also I've been hesitant because there's already a lot of um, videos out there on natural hair care at the various stages and also I'm learning as I go along so some of the things that I've done with my hair have not worked out so I really didn't want to share things that have backfired because I really don't want to guide anyone the wrong way and second is I felt like there's a lot of information good information already out there so I didn't feel like I would contribute anything differently um, so to speak because most of the things that I do and the techniques even though they're slightly variated are already out there um, but so this is my update just to show you the progress of my hair. I am really not concerned with length um, For me, it's more of just getting a healthy head of hair So it's been four months since I cut it and I have not still figured out what my texture is because I have various textures all over my head so that will take a while and I'm not really good at that sort of thing so now it doesn't really matter because no matter what it is I know it's curly and it's African hair so the care is based on that and um, yeah so I'm not really concerned about the length uh, for me it's more of um, how healthy my hair is and having just a whole head of kinky coily pretty African hair so that's what I'm after now for the people who care about length I'm gonna show you a small section of my hair oh and that's the other thing I completely forgot to take pictures it's four months now because I cut it in December but um, I forgot to take pictures I took pictures when I cut it and that's it I don't have any more pictures so I completely forgot so I will start taking pictures from now henceforth um, I'm not too worried about not taking pictures before because I don't feel like the strength the growth has been that much drastic but from this point on I will try to do an update on how it's growing um, every three months this is mostly for myself because sometimes I feel like oh my god it's not growing it's not growing so I think that pictures um, will help me see where it's gone from one month to the next so I'll probably do these updates every three months and I also feel like I don't want to overwhelm you guys with um, updates each month because it probably grows at a quarter of an inch my hair so it wouldn't make any sense for me to do uh, an, an update each month because you really not notice the difference that much until enough time has passed so yeah I'll do updates every three months and what issues have I had um, I had issues with dryness originally it was like hard and dry and I was panicking because I didn't know what to do but eventually I got into hot oil treatments and um, cold washing and that has seemed to solve that I've made a lot of concoctions some have worked and some has it, have not and I will share those with you as we go along now anyway back to the length um, let me see uh, there. oh my god I hope that's visible that's the strength it's that's the length I'm sorry it's not that long and um, yeah so let me see this is a better section there can, can you see that I hope so so it has been four months now and it has come in beautifully um, I have used um, henna on my hair like just for the conditioning not to dye it although I will dye at some point um, and the coils just seem to pop up when I use henna so I like using henna but it has grown in so beautifully I you know I've been kicking myself for thinking why did it take me this long to cut it so yeah it's coming in beautifully and I still think this is one of the best decisions I made and I can't wait until it's this big or you know so I can wear it out so yeah this is my update um, if I've left anything out or if you have any questions just send me a private message and we'll see um, if I can help but yeah so this is it I'll just turn around now there's some sections of it where I still have a little bit of my relaxed hair at the top because it wasn't really cut all the way down so at some point I'll probably blow it out and 
cut those ends but right now I'm not too worried about it because it's still too short so for those of you who are on this journey keep going hang in there believe me it's completely worth it I'm completely in love with my hair right now and I am so happy that I don't have to hide behind a wig or hide behind a weave I can wear those things if I choose to but I'm also glad that my natural hair is I've finally accepted that my natural hair is beautiful and I can wear it as is without having or without feeling the pressure to alter it. So yeah, that's my update. I will see you again in three months. So this is May, June, July, August. Yep, I'll do another update in August. Take care and watch out for the other videos. Bye!